Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick review on my opinion on the Stanley Sweetheart versus uh, the Japanese chisel you can find on eBay. So let's get to it. So the first major differences I've noticed when I got these chisels, um, when I got this one on eBay, it needed a lot of work. It had a huge chip nick in the corner, and um, that took forever to get out. And I that was like the biggest gripe with this. But like you hold it in your hand, it just feels awesome. I mean, it just got this weight to it. You just feel like there's so much more mass to it, and you feel like there's just so much more craftsmanship poured into it because every single most any Japanese chisel that's good will have the stamp of whoever made it on there. Um, it's got the hollow back, hollow grind, so that you don't have to flatten as much surface area. You only have to flatten the area that's shiny, obviously. Um, as opposed to this, Stanley, this whole surface should technically be flat. Okay, so benefits of this versus this, the Stanley, less sharpening area, so you can sharpen these real quick. Like, I take this to the 8,000 grit stone, and do this a little bit on the bevel and then just flatten it on the back and it's done real quick. Whereas this, if you want to get this entire, um, if you want to get the entire bevel flat, it takes a good amount of time because this, this surface area is so much bigger than the Stanley. Uh, things I like about the Stanley, it's got socket chisels so this handle can come out. You can make, you can make your own if you want to make one that fits your hand better. I actually like the smaller one. It fits in the in the palm of your hand really nice, so when you're pairing when you're pairing things, it's really nice for that operation. Just nice and smooth motion for that. This seems to be like a really good all-around chisel. I like to use this for everything else, pretty much. Um, I've only had it for a few months or so, so I haven't gotten to use it as much as these. So, but I, I, I kind of got this one because I wanted to get more into like large-scale joinery and I think it'd be nice to have like a big chisel like this that can really handle the abuse. I think the major difference between these two is the type of steel used at the cutting edge. The Stanleys tend to dull quite a bit quicker than this. Like I sharpened this and I was just paring end grain oak and it just it stayed sharp for a really long time. I mean you don't hardly ever have to sharpen these. And when you do, they're sharp enough where they can trim hair off your hand and kind of blow your mind in that regard. So, if I had to pick a winner, and if I, I guess if I should say if I was a beginner, if I could do everything over again, I think I would just look for Japanese chisels on eBay. That way, I would learn how to sharpen, I would learn how to fix a chisel, and I would appreciate the, the quality and the how long it stays sharp. Um, Whereas I started with really dumpy box store chisels that were god awful. And then I moved up to these, and these were a huge upgrade. The Stanley Sweethearts are a big upgrade um, to anything you, you're going to get at like any big box store. And then from there, I started looking into these out of curiosity, and I am just blown away by how nice the Japanese chisels are. They really are something else and that really inspired me to really want to start looking into getting Japanese hand planes that's like a whole nother can of worms so that's just like a quick little review of these um, yeah I mean if I do it all over again I think I just start looking for Japanese chisels exclusively and building up a collection also a nice thing to know if you're doing a, like a mortise or something let's say you have a one inch mortise if you get a Japanese chisel that's close to an inch it's usually slightly undersized so it's a little usually smaller than an inch so when you're you know you're, if you're doing the ends of a mortise you won't have to worry about blowing out the corners or dinging those up because these are the Japanese ones are always a little bit undersized compared to the standard size so that's really all I want to talk about a really quick little video on these guys so that's it